guys welcome back to another video i hope you are all doing okay i'm so sorry i missed last sunday's upload i was away and i just didn't have time to get something together to post on sunday because if you know if you're a nail tech and you're going away it is always just crazy the days before and the days after you get back because everyone goes into panic mode and i was literally only away for four days and i thought that i would be able to just kind of go away and nobody would even notice but it didn't kind didn't kind of go that way so it was a little bit stressful a bit more stressful than i thought it was going to be but we are back and welcome back to another video i thought today that i would do a video on basically how i take my pictures and give you some tips on getting the popping instagram pics that everybody wants for their nail feed and this has been a requested video for quite some time and it's been on my list for quite a while and i thought today was the day that i would film this video for you and give you some of my tips Tips. obviously everyone takes their nail pictures different i obviously if you follow me on instagram you will probably see that i do go through phases of how i like my pictures but there are kind of the solid top tips that i kind of always try and stick to and i'm basically here to take you through them today if you don't follow me on instagram already i will pop my little handle at the bottom of the screen so you can head over and drop me a follow on there and i will also be showing you a little bit of my instagram in this video just so that i can kind of show you what i'm talking about when i'm kind of explaining my tips because you'll be able to see it in the pictures that i show you so yeah i will give you a little bit of a preview like i said to you i do go through phases of my instagram i try and keep all of my pictures kind of similar but then i kind of change it and then you'll see through my feed that i go through different phases but we are in a still in the this phase of the kind of pictures that i'm taking at the moment whether it's going to change anytime soon i'm not too sure but i'm loving the sun pictures at the moment because it's summer and we can use the lighting to our best advantage and i'm absolutely loving it the only thing is oh my god winter as an nail tech when you're trying to get pictures wow it, it's it's hard work but you know we're in summer now so we're not going to moan about it and we're just going to embrace the uh, nice weather and the sunshine and the good lighting for a prolonged period of time so because like i say most of my clients are like evening clients like evenings are when i'm like so busy and in the winter trying to get nail pictures with the evening clients is just a no-go but that is also something that i will go into is because i don't really post client nail pictures on my feed anymore and that is kind of again a phase that i went through and then came out of and i'll explain everything in a bit more detail as we get into it but i've got seven tips to go through with you and i will stop waffling and we'll get on with the first one so the first tip that i have is lighting now lighting is at the top of the list because if you don't have good lighting then the nail pictures are just not going to work now in summer obviously it's a lot easier for getting good pictures with good lighting because you have a lot more daylight and sunshine and just good lighting for your pictures in winter it's a lot more difficult so i do kind of switch up my kind of nail picture situation in summer and winter in summer i like to take my pictures outside whether the sun's out or whether it isn't obviously i kind of prefer it sometimes if the sun's out but sometimes it actually looks better when the sun's in but you're still outside obviously i know it's a lot more difficult in winter to be outside because it's probably raining it's probably freezing it's probably really overcast obviously that's if you're in the uk i am in the uk and the weather in the winter is not cute but we just try and make the best out of a good sit the best out of a bad situation and we just try and work with what we've got now like i say in summer at the moment i've been getting plenty of sunshine pictures so i will get my instagram up so that i can show you but here's just an example of one this is one that i took outside let me just try and focus it there you go that's one that i took outside and in the sunshine so as you will see i absolutely love the sunshine pictures but it also does depend on the design now if the design is quite detailed then sometimes the sun actually is worse because i feel like 
there can be quite a lot of reflection on it sometimes so you do have to just try and try and work it out with trying to get some pictures in the sun and then wait until obviously the 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 sun's gone so it's behind a cloud or something like this now this is another reason as to why i like to take my own pictures and when i say my own pictures is taking them on my own hands and this is because obviously you do a client set you don't know what the weather's going to be like when you finish that set and your client can't be waiting around for like 20 minutes half an hour so that you can get a good picture and this is what i kind of went through is i was went through a phase of taking client pictures a lot of the time i felt like i was creating content for my instagram and for nail inspiration for my clients and then a lot of the time my clients would pick that inspo so i would end up doing the same sets quite a lot like I say, I didn't want to be just repeating stuff. I obviously wanted new things, new like updated pictures, updated designs and stuff like that. So I just kind of decided that I would just take pictures of my own sets on my own hands and try and make new designs and kind of upload different things. Because then I have the time throughout the day if I have like 15 minutes in between a client, then I can go outside, I can get my pictures, I can try different angles, I can basically spend as long as possible, as long as I need to, to get a good picture, rather than having to feel like a client has to sit there and wait for you to get a good picture. So that's why I took it on myself to basically just post my own nails. And also I just found that it just gave me a little bit of it gave me a little bit of time to just kind of try new things on myself and obviously keep my brain ticking along with like new designs and trying different things because obviously clients like to get inspo and you know even from my page or from somebody else's to choose their sets so i basically had as much creative freedom and as much time to take my pictures as possible now i really need to be aware of the time because i have money on point one and we're already on like nearly eight minutes so yeah, the first one is lighting. You want to make sure your lighting is as best as possible. Try and get your pictures outside where you can and if you can't and if it's kind of like raining or overcast outside. A lot of the time in winter, what I would do is I would just make sure I'm taking my nail pictures like in front of a big window. So I'd make sure the big window is behind me and the light is shining onto my nails and it's gonna be good lighting. Don't be taking your pictures like in just a dark, dull room. A lot a lot of nail techs do take their pictures with their nails like under a lot like a light, but I don't like that. It just gives me too much reflection and yeah, I just prefer natural lighting. So that's the first one. The second one is to use like a clean or aesthetic background now a lot of the time i used to take my pictures just kind of at my nail desk and when they were done which i just didn't like i just preferred recently i'm in a phase of having the same background for my nail pictures so this is my instagram feed let me just focus the camera and you will see that all of my pictures well apart from this one i went for a little a little bit rogue with this one but you will see that most of my pictures are with this kind of background which is actually a throw from my bed and i like to get a bit of a shoe in there as well which is really weird but you know that's just kind of the phase i'm in at the moment but yeah so most of my instagram feed looks kind of the same so that's the background that i like to use but obviously you don't have to use that one you can create your own or you know basically just have a clean and aesthetic background because it's just going to make it all look a lot nicer but you don't want too much going on in the background because the main focus is your nail because that is what the focus is it's all about your nails and that's what you're showcasing so don't make it too busy but also make it look aesthetically pleasing or just plain even if you just use like a a white or a beige kind of background just to make your nails pop in the picture. Tip number three is the nail preparation. So after I've done my designs and stuff, like after I've basically finished my nails, what I like to do is sometimes I like to just file on the free edge just to make sure, especially if they are square, just to make sure they're super sharp, the, the shape is looking beautiful and also cuticle oil. Cuticle oil is it's just the holy grail it finishes off your nails so beautifully and just make sure that any kind of crusty dusty cuticles that you know obviously they've been worked on and they just need a little bit of moisture putting back in them so 
cuticle oil if you take any pictures without cuticle oil then change that up right now just add a little bit not too much just enough just to give them a nice little shine and a little pop to make them look clean and fresh and that will make a big difference in your nail pictures as well it's just about the attention to detail you just want to make sure they're looking as professional as possible and i feel like they just give it a really really nice finish off cuticle oil is just it's a must number four would be to experiment with angles now this is another thing that i have tried in my instagram i do kind of try and mix it up a little bit whether i have kind of i'll show you again whether i have um nails that are kind of like this kind of pose or whether i do them um straight like not that one this one um, so I just try and like switch it up a little bit obviously switching it up kind of minor for me But like this other one that I shown you before this was like a, a bit of a different pose for me But I just like to like try things and just you know kind of kind of try different things and try different angles but also keeping it the same if that makes sense it's all about just trying it when i'm taking my pictures i take some with it straight some with it bent some with it in different angles some of it closer some of it far apart some of it with like a different kind of pose and then when you've got the pictures you can flick through and see which one you prefer i also think that a big thing that affects this is the design now if i've got quite a busy design on my nails i don't like this pose because i think just because they're all close together if it's a busy design anyway i think sometimes it can look a bit much and that's why i like to do a straight pose just because they're obviously all at different lengths of your finger and they're not all together and i just think sometimes that can look a bit nicer whereas if i've got a simple design then i think this one can look quite cute i am probably too fussy with my instagram that's my problem i am so fussy and that's why i don't tend to post client pictures but obviously if you don't have the time to be creating content on your own nails and you all you can get is client pictures i'm not saying that you can't get a good picture of a client set you definitely can because i've got plenty of pictures on my instagram of when i've posted client sets it's worked fine and i've been happy with it going on my instagram but i just, sometimes i just switch it up and i like to think i like to know that i've got the the time to kind of sit there and you know go through and take as many pictures as i like now i've literally just scrolled down a little bit further down my feed let me just focus the camera and this was the kind of time when i was posting client sets so these are client sets um pictures that i've got um just loads of different ones like this and i just kind of like to do that pose but also making sure that outside so you can get some good um lighting and stuff like that um this was also a client but and this was actually my friend so she was fully sat on the floor in the sunlight getting different pictures but it was okay because it was my friend i wouldn't obviously get a client to do that literally just try out different angles obviously if you're doing them on yourself obviously if you're doing it on clients then it's a little bit more difficult but yeah just play around with it try the different angles see what works for you and see what looks best it's always better to have the option there and to not need it than not having the picture and having to settle for one that you're not so happy with now i did actually see a tiktok recently where it basically was this girl and she was like i can tell if you're a beginner if all of your nail feed like if all of your instagram feed looks the same and you're too scared to try different angles and i'm gonna say i have to disagree i like my feed to look that way because i just think it looks clean and aesthetically pleasing for them to all be the same but obviously people have different opinions you might not like it that way but i love it that way i like it to look kind of uniform and i like i say i'm so fussy with it like it's actually a, a bit of a joke but you not everyone's the same you might like it you know a little bit different you might like your feed to be a pop of a bit of everything reels you know pictures product pictures like nail pictures you, you might like to switch it up but this is literally just how i like it and this is just the tips that are basically what i use but you don't have to follow them you can do your own thing and you can create your own kind of niche and your own kind of way of doing things and that's absolutely fine number five is the focus and the sharpness of your pictures so just make sure your auto focus is on with your camera or your phone now i actually used to use my phone for my nail pictures but if you can see this properly this is my camera on my phone now i'm trying to focus it so that you can see but i smashed it now i'm not gonna lie how unfortunate is that because there's three cameras on this phone 
there is the wide angle the zoomed in angle and the like the normal one and the one that i smashed was the normal one the normal camera how amazing so i can't take the pictures off my phone anymore i'm doing up i'm doing upgrade in like august so i'll just wait and get it fixed then for now i actually use i have like a professional camera that i bought quite a while ago like years and years and years ago and i had that just in my wardrobe and i thought i'll just have to use that rather than my phone because i can't be taking like dusty pictures of my nails like it's just not gonna work like this is my job so i do actually use a professional camera at the moment that is complete overkill you don't need to use a professional camera the cameras on the iphones are absolutely more than enough i just can't use it because mine is broke and yeah that is literally the only reason why you can literally get popping pictures from an iphone camera don't feel like you have to use you know a proper professional camera for it you really don't i just have to because i have no other choice so yeah just make sure your autofocus is on when you are taking your pictures if you're on your phone or if you are using a camera just to make sure that your nails are popping that's what the camera's focusing on and you will also be able to increase the sharpness in your instagram when you go to edit it just play around with it and just make sure that you are making it look as sharp and as clean and as perfect as possible so that takes me on to number six which is edit and enhance now when you come to upload your instagram pictures i'm not saying pop five filters on it and make it look completely different to what the set actually looks like what i mean is just mess around with the brightness the saturation and the sharpness and all that kind of stuff just to make it look as clean and popping as possible because honestly it's not going to change the look of the nails the nails are what they are and you just need to make sure that you're kind of do only doing it to make it look like a bit more popping a little bit more sharp to your pictures to make them stand out i'm not saying completely change the picture i'm not saying make it look like completely different colors to what you've used or anything like that just kind of minor things to basically just play around with and just what i do at the end of it is if you click on the picture it will show you the before and after so i'll literally just press and hold on the picture and it will show you the changes that you've made so i'll just make sure i'm not changing it too much and they don't look completely different to what the original picture looks like it's only just enhancing the original picture um because that is one thing you just want to keep an eye on because you don't want your clients turning up asking for a, a set and the colors are completely different than what the picture looks like because you've edited edited it too much so just keep an eye on how much you're doing and number seven is consistency and consistency within your style of how you like your pictures now this kind of takes me back to what i said before obviously some people don't like for every single picture to be the same but that is not the case for me i absolutely love that i absolutely love for all of my pictures to look the same it is just something that i like and my preference and this is your Instagram feed. You can have it exactly how you want it. And I just like to be consistent with the kind of pictures that I create and what I'm posting. Now, obviously, another thing that you'll notice is the logo between each picture. Let me just focus this again. Um, now, this is just something that I like for my feed. Not everyone does this. But when I first started my nail page, um basically i i just didn't like the idea of my whole feed just being nails i kind of like wanted a little bit of something to it and that's why i kind of post my logo in between each picture to just give it a little bit of a space out when my clients are looking at the pictures just so that they all don't kind of merge into one because i think sometimes it can be a bit like that when i click on feeds and it's just nails thrown at you and i'm like where do i even start so i just like to space mine out a little bit i've literally done that from day one of starting my instagram feed so even if i wanted to stop doing that then it'd be a, a long process of deleting all the logo pictures so i don't think that's going to be anything that i'm getting rid of anytime soon so yeah i just like to kind of make my feed look as kind of flowing as possible i just like that but like i say not everyone will i've just kind of come across this bit as well which is another part of my instagram which i kind of went a bit rogue on so this is where i used to use there's like a um ivy in my garden and i used to take my pictures in front of the, the like the bush 
Um, so this is how I used to get it. I used to get a lot of greens in my pictures. But sometimes I felt as though it took away from the focus of the nails a little bit. And that's why I then kind of changed my um, my feed to the throw and the shoe. Which is really random. I don't really know where I got that from. But yeah, so this is just what my Instagram looks like at the moment. And I personally love it. It might not be everyone's cup of tea. But that's just how I like it. Whether I will change it anytime soon. Don't think so. I haven't got any other, any other ideas. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to give it a little bit of a touch of something that I like. So yeah, that's basically how my Instagram is and my tips along the way. Obviously, if there is anything I've missed or if there's anything that you wanted to ask, then feel free. Pop it down in the comments and I will help out wherever I can. But they were just my seven little tips on how to improve your Instagram pictures. And I hope you found it helpful. I will obviously come back to any messages if there are anyone that needs any help or anyone needs any questions answering but that's just my little tip video on my pictures which i am far too fussy about you guys probably are a lot more like chilled about it but i'm just a little bit weird so yeah i hope you found it helpful and um, as always if you need any help let me know i will pop my instagram at the bottom of the screen and also if you could like and subscribe that would be absolutely amazing thank you so so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video bye